Hi, this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and today we're going to make this adorable curtain card. So let's get started. When you learn this card, you're going to make want to make a bunch of these. These are so addicting. And this is just one variation that I made um, during one of our live streams. So I thought it would be nice to just do um, in straight instructions for you. So what you're going to need is uh, your 12 by 12 cardstock. You can cut this down to size. So this is 10 inches by four and three quarters. So this is a great way to use some of that cardstock that has a nice pattern that complements each other. So look at that. So you're going to need that measuring 10 by four and three quarters. You're going to need a smaller paper that kind of matches also if you want to do that that measures four by four so this doesn't have to be double-sided but this one does now if you want to use one side where it's white on the other side you could actually do that but you want to just make sure that you have like a complementing color so I thought I'd use double-sided colored paper but white would be fine too so let me go ahead and get started with this you're going to need a um, A2 size card base and A2 size card, in case you didn't know, measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, 10 by four and three quarters and once you cut it down to size, I'm going to just put it in here just so you can see it the long way. I'm going to make a little marking on here. Okay, so you're going to need a marking um, on your paper, your larger paper. It's going to be three quarters. So I'm just measuring it. I'm just using my, my trimmer since I'm going to be using it anyway to cut this down. So I'm marking it at three quarters of an inch. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm just using the black marker so you can see, you can see it real good. And you're going to measure three quarters. Okay, so you notice it's on opposite sides. It's over here, your three quarter mark, and it's right here. Okay, so now we're going to cut that diagonally. So this is probably, might be a little bit challenging, is to line these up so that you can cut straight across. So let's line that up. And press that down. Just making sure. And then I'm going to just cut straight across like that. And you should have two pieces like this. So... I used the alternating piece as well and made another card and I kind of flipped the curtain. So if you see this one, see how that is? So it's upside down, but it still looks good. It looks like a divider. Uh, someone was mentioning that on our live stream that it looked like a divider. So either way, it still makes a beautiful card. Okay, but or you can just use it like this since it the pattern is not upside down, so you can do two cards out of this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some scoring. Okay, and I'm going to make this very easy for you with the scoring. Okay, so let me get my scoreboard out. You could also do this with a ruler if you want. Okay, so I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to score this at two inches okay for the first one you just want to put this up here two inches and then I'm going to score it at three inches five inches six inches eight inches and then nine inches and an easy way to remember that is to score at two inches, move over one inch. Score at two inches, 
one, two, move over one inch. Score at two inches, move over one inch. So you're just alternating. Okay, and that's all the scoring you have to do. So now for the fun part. What you're going to do is you're going to fan fold this. And you're just going to start this way, okay, leaving that larger piece, that first piece flat. And you're going to just fold it back and forth. Okay, let me put this down so you can really see it. Okay, and you see how that's coming together? Look at that. It's like magic. <laughs> okay, so back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And I need to straighten that little piece up right there because it's not lined up all the way, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I, I have my art glitter glue here, but I'm going to take this real quick and hold that little piece right there, just at the top, because I'm going to add some ribbon to this. See that? So this is what you should have. So now you have some green, I have some green ribbon and I thought that would look pretty. And this is where you can take your thin ribbon or you can cut a strip of paper, um, cardstock and put it across here too. What I did was I actually came above the four by four inch paper and I added ribbon to like a white cardstock and then just had it above here. Just glued it right above there. But on this one, I'm going to wrap it around. And let me show you. I'm just going to measure this out a little bit. Just eyeballing it so I can wrap it around. Okay, so that should be good. I'm going to wrap it around like that right now. And so I'm going to just put a little bit of glue to hold my ribbon right there. And I'm just going to use a little bit right across this part here and right there. Okay, and then I'm going to just take it and wrap it around. And I can always go back and secure it. For right now, I'm just trying to get it wrapped around my curtain. Okay, so see how that is? Now I'm going to just take a little bit of my art glitter glue. Let me show you what that looks like in the back. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of this tape to secure this part right here for right now. Let's see, right there. Okay, now I'm going to take my art glitter glue and just in here, just slip it right in here. And this card will actually go into our pile of cards for the card campaign with Operation Gratitude. So uh, we're making blank cards for the troops so they can send them to their families. So now you're going to take your 4x4 four four paper. This is where it comes in. And you could really have fun mixing colors on these two. And you're just going to line it up here. So I think that goes really well with that. I like the wood grain, so I'm just having fun with this. And you're going to glue this down. And I'm only going to glue around the top portion. I don't want all of it to be glued down because I still want that kind of hanging curtain kind of feel to it. You can also um, add dimension to this too, so that's the other thing that you can do. So let me just make sure I got this right. Looks like it's lining up really good there okay and then I'm just going to so that's what you got so look at that now you can start adding your other stuff and take your card base and you might want to stamp on it first um, 
whatever your sentiment is going to be, I'm going to do thinking of you. And this is from our sentiments stamp set in our mindless crafting store. And it's got all kinds of sentiments on it. So that's a good one to have in your collection. Okay, so now we're going to just take this, stamp it out. And I'd rather add this first before I add on this, just so that I have enough, I can see my spacing there. And I'm going to put a heart on there. So I want to just kind of stamp to this side. Okay. And now I can add, I can add my drapery. <laughs> Okay. Look how cute that is. All right, so now let's go ahead and glue this down. Super easy card to make. Without having to do a whole lot of stuff to it. Very easy card to make. Look at that. So now you can add in all of your little things that you might want to add to it. Um, I have my punch, which I've been using a lot lately. So I'm going to punch out some hearts with the coordinating paper. Okay, found it. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out a couple of these. And that way I can have uh, maybe three, right? Let's see how that looks. Thinking of you with some hearts. How pretty is that? And then if you want, you can add a butterfly to it. It just depends on what you want to do, right? But I think that looks really cute. So let's go ahead and add that in. And like I said, this is a great way to use up, uh, start using up your, your double-sided paper, the larger paper that you have. I know you have some in your stash. And this kind of card can be a birthday card. Um, it could be Thinking of you, Valentine's, and you can make a bunch of them and just have a, a, a ton of them throughout the year. You know what? I'm going to do a couple more hearts for this. And that one I didn't I didn't do that too well, did I? <laughs> Let's see. You know, just have a row of hearts going right across. I've been to, into punching out hearts lately. Okay, and let's put one right here. Okay, super cute. And we can stitch right across the top on this. And I think that, I think we're done. So look how cute that came out. And don't forget to start stocking up on your art glitter glue. I'll leave a link for you. We do carry this in our store, but it starts to sell out when we get closer, when we get closer to uh, fall which is right around the corner. Okay, so this is what we have. I can decorate the inside, add more hearts to it on the inside. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Normally I would put a gem right here, but 
since it's for the uh, troops, there's no um, no sparkles and gem type stuff there, but I could add a butterfly. So if I find a, a good butterfly that coordinates, that one I, I want to add to this. But if I find another small one, I can add it right there. I probably got a sticker somewhere around here. <laughs> And there you go. A butterfly. And the antenna. Okay, and so this is what we got. Look how cute those drapes are. Okay, let me show you the other ones. So here's what we got. So you can really get that those 12 by 12 packs of paper out and this one we have in our store this is that life in bloom it's very very popular paper I had some paper from um, a Valentine's kit and so that's where this came from but it could be an anniversary card too so all of these are going to the troops I got so addicted to making these and I'll probably end up making even more but look how pretty all those thin ribbons that you have in your stash get those out too and all of these are blank okay so that's one of the rules of this campaign we're super excited about the campaign the card campaign if you want um, I you can check it out I will post below in the description box uh, below this video uh, for all the information you need for that uh, card campaign and I hope this inspired you to make some of these curtain cards there's tons of videos uh, on YouTube um, I hope this inspires you to make some different variations um, of, of videos but I hope my instruction was easy enough for you to go ahead and get started so y'all take care and I'll see you real soon Bye.